we were we were hiking um, and it was uh, my daughter my three-year-old daughter was in a backpack with me my son who's 12 my daughter who's nine my wife and our good friend Steve and uh, we were hiking we made it to the falls and um, it just got really treacherous and it was coming down so we only stayed a minute in the falls and we got to the first river crossing and which we had just crossed 15 minutes earlier and it had rose, risen up quite a bit and while we were crossing my daughter was in the backpack with me and I was holding my daughter nine-year-old daughter's hand and she was holding Zachary's hand and he slipped and then he let go of his sister's hand so he didn't pull her in and I tried to grab his hand and I slipped and so my daughter in my who was in the backpack with me got swept in the river with me and Zach got swept in the river in really high force um, rapids and we went over a couple little drops and um, seemed like forever but it was probably somewhere between 30 and 60 seconds and then I was able to yell for help and then position my back on a big boulder um, and then there was a man with a tripod who was at the shore and, and he extended the tripod and pulled me out with my daughter on my back and he had the wherewithal to yell to I believe his mother to that there was a boy in the river and um, they told Zach to keep his feet up and um, um, well, I got out of the river and took my daughter off my back with the backpack and ran down to see if he was okay because I knew he had passed me panicking and um, got there to find him across the river and safe only by the grace of God. It's amazing that he was able to get to a tiny little ledge. I don't know how it happened. And they said he pulled himself up and he was on a tiny little ledge sitting there. And he was okay and so brave. He had to stay there for about four and a half, almost five hours in torrential rains. And my daughter, there were so many people on shore there who helped get my daughter dry and keep us warm and talk with Zachary and encourage him to just to keep strong and, and safe. And so many heroic efforts there. They sent people down to try and get word out that we needed to be rescued um, and they they went down to one of the last river crossings and they were unable to cross the river and they came back and told us they were unable to cross and we were waiting there and it was getting later and I was worried that if it got dark it was going to be the end that he couldn't stay all night there he was on such a tiny ledge and finally they said two of the guys said we just have to do it and they went back down to the whatever 30 45 minute walk and one of the guys was able to somehow make it to a little island halfway and call across the, the rest of the way and, and relay the story. Um, and then um, they were able to relay the story further. Thank you guys, we owe you. Thank you, thank you. And then um, we were, they were able to relay the story and then I think someone probably had to hike back because that was at about, one, we fell in the river at 1230-ish. It was about 1.45, we got word that the guy got across and got word to other people and they said they got the news at 3.30 and it was about 4.30-ish before we saw the first helicopter. And they came in and kind of surveyed the area and then left for a couple minutes and then came back, lowered the hoist down and got one of the guys on shore with me first, pulled him up to a ledge on the mountain where it was safe, then came back and the most amazing act of heroism by the man Aaron over there, um, got dropped down, the pilot was amazing, dropped him down into the water, he grabbed a branch to hold steady and reached to Zach and Zach was nervous to, to let go of his perch and because and, he had to lean out to get him and um, Zach finally leaned out and just bear hugged him and the guy bear hugged him and didn't even fully put him in the harness and just held him like this and they airlifted him out up to safety and then came back and got my daughter and I and two other people and then got my wife and my older daughter and three other my friend Steve and and uh, two other people and then went and rescued tons of other people and took him down to the beach there and then um, and then came back for us a couple hours later and then flew us down here um, to the beach area. And, um, and these are the guys right here, right? Those are the guys, the guy in the helicopter, his name is, and his name is 
Aaron Hawthorne is the one who rescued my son Zachary and the pilot's name was Cliff. But there were other people, I don't know the other rescuer's name who were involved, but it was only through the act of God and through their heroic efforts that our family is safe. And my three-year-old daughter has absolutely nothing wrong with her. Zachary has little scrapes and I have some bruises and scrapes, but no major injuries. It was unbelievable. We're just grateful for their amazing act of courage and, and their hard work for saving all those people. And then they had to come back this morning and rescue another 70 or so people from the beach who had to sleep there all night. 